welcome to biology the center study of life the uh, exponential model describes population growth in an idealized uh, unlimited environment the concepts of life history provide a biological foundation for a quantitative understanding of population growth to appreciate, uh, appreciate um, the potential for population increase, consider a single bacterium that can be produced by fishing every 20 minutes under ideal laboratory conditions. There would be two bacteria after 20 minutes, uh, four after 40 minutes, eight after 60 minutes, and so on. If reproduction continued at this rate, with no mortality for only a day at a half, uh, a mere 36 hours, there would be enough bacteria to form a layer or a food heap over the entire group. Uh, at the other life history extreme, an elephant may produce only six offspring in a uh, one, um, 100 year lifespan cell. Charles Darwin once estimated that the descendants of a single pair of mating elephants would number 19 million within only 750 years. Though Darwin's estimate may not have been uh, precisely correct, such analysis led him to recognize uh, the uh, tremendous uh, capacity for growth in all populations. However, unlimited population increase does not cure I, um, uh, uh, in definitely for any species either in the laboratory or in nature a population that begins at small size in a favorable environment may increase rapidly for a while but eventually as a result of limited resources and other factors its number must stop growing nevertheless it is useful to study population growth in an idealized unlimited environment because such studies reveal the capacity of species for increase and the conditions in which that capacity may be expressed. Per capita rate of increase. Uh, imagine a hypothetical population uh, con uh, consisting of a few individual, individuals living in an ideal unlimited environment. Under these conditions, there are no restrictions on the abilities of individuals to harvest energy, grow, and reproduce as I uh, uh, Aside uh, from the uh, inherent biological limitations of their life history, uh, 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 the population will increase in size with every birth and with the uh, Im immigration of individuals from other populations, and it will decrease in size with every death uh, and with the um, immigration of individuals out of the population. For simplicity here, we will uh, ignore the effects uh, of immigration and immigration, a more compl uh, complex uh, formulation would certainly uh, include these factors. We can thus define a change in population size during a fixed uh, time uh, inter interval with the following verbal equation. Notice that. Uh, change in population size during time interval uh, Equal birth during a uh, time interval minus uh, deaths during time interval. We can use a uh, mathematical notation to express this relationship more uh, concisely. If n represents population size and t represents time, when delta n is the change in the population size and delta t is the limit interval appropriate to the lifespan or generation time. Uh, of a species over which we are uh, evaluating population growth, the Greek letter delta uh, represent or uh, indicates change as the change in time. Uh, we can now rewrite the verbal equation as equation like this: delta n distribution delta t equal uh, b minus t, b birth and g death. Where B is the number of births in the population during the time interval and G is the number of deaths. Next, we can convert this simple model uh, into one in which births and deaths are expressed as the average number of births and deaths per individual during the specific time interval. The per capita uh, birth rate is the number of offspring produced per unit time by an average number of the population. If, for example, 
there are uh, 34 births per year uh, in a population of 1,000 individuals. The annual per capita birth rate is uh, 34 uh, distribution 1,000 or 0.034. Uh, um, if we know the annual per capita birth rate expressed as P, we can use the formula B equal BN to calculate the expected number of births per year in a population of any size. For example, if the annual uh, per capita birth rate is 0 0.034 and the population size is 300, notice that B equal BN, B equal uh, 0 0.034 by 5, uh, 500, B equal uh, 17 per year. Similarly, similarly, the per capita death rate symbolized as M for mortality allows us to calculate the expected number of deaths per unit time in a population if any size. If M equal 0 0.016 per year, we would expect 16 deaths per year in a population uh, of 1,000 individuals for natural populations um, uh, or those in the laboratory, the per capita birth and death rates can be calculated from estimates of population size and data uh, in life tables and reproductive tables. Uh, now, we we can revise the population growth uh, equation again, uh, this time using uh, per capita birth and death rates rather than the numbers of births and deaths. Notice that uh, delta n distribution delta t equal b n minus m a n. On final simplification is in order population ecologists are most interested in the differences between difference between the uh, per capita birth rate and per capita death rate. This difference is the per capita rate of increase or R. R equal B minus M. The value of R, uh, R indicates whether a given population is growing uh, or not is that. R uh, more than zero or declining uh, R uh, less than zero. Zero population growth ZPG occurs when the per capita birth and death rates are equal. <coughs> are equal or <coughs> birth and this is still uh, death still occur in such population, of course, but they balance in each other exactly using the per capita rate of increase. We now rewrite the equation of change in population size as delta n uh, is to distribution delta t equal R n. Notice that. Uh, most ecologists use differential calcul uh, calculus or to express population growth as growth rate at a particular instant in time. Uh, Dn uh, distribution dt equal rn as shown here. If we have not yet studied calculus, don't be uh, intimated um, uh, intimidated by uh, the form of the last equation. It is essentially the same as the previous one. Expect uh, that the time uh, intervals at delta t are very short and are expressed in the equation as delta d as shown. Exponential growth. Earlier we described a population whose members are uh, have access to abundant food and are free to reproduce at their physi physiological capacity. Population increase under these ideal conditions is called exponential population growth. Exponential, exponential population growth, also known as geometric population growth. Under these conditions, uh, the per capita rate of increase may assume, assume uh, the maximum rate for the species, called the intrinsic uh, rate of increase and denoted as R max. The, uh, the equation for exponential population growth is Gn uh, distribution dt equal r max n. The size of population that is growing exponentially increase at a constant rate resulting eventually uh, in a g shaped as shown here. Um, uh, 
shaped growth curve when the population size is plotted over time, although the intrinsic rate of increase is constant. The population accumulates more new individuals per unit of time when it is large than when it is small. Thus, the curves in this figure get progressively steepest uh, over time this occurs because population growth depends on n as as well as uh, r max and larger population experience experience more births and deaths than small ones growing at the same per capita rate it's also clear from uh, from uh, figure as shown here uh, that a population with a higher intrinsic rate of increase uh, dn uh, distribution dt equal 1.0 n will grow faster than when with a lower rate of increase dn equal uh, or distribution dt equal 0.5 n the g-shaped curve of exponential growth is characteristic of some populations that are introduced into a new or unfilled environment or whose numbers have been drastically reduced by a, catas um, a catastrophic even and uh, are re rebounding uh, for example as shown this video uh, illust illustrates the exponential population growth that occurred in the population of elephants in uh, Kroger National Park South Africa after they were protected uh, from hunting after approximately 60 years of uh, exponential growth, the larger number of elephants had caused enough damage to the park vegetation uh, that a colobus in the elephant food supply was likely leading to an end uh, to population growth through starvation to protect other species and the park uh, ecosystem before that happened. Park managers began limiting the elephant population by using bird control and exporting elephants to other countries. Notice that uh, exponential uh, growth in the African elephant population uh, of uh, Kroger uh, National Park, South Africa, uh, was increased in notice the age uh, 1960. Notice. Uh, back to population growth predicted by the exponential model, this graph compares growth in two populations with different values of Rmax, increasing the value of from uh, 0.5 to 1.0 uh, 1 increases the rate of uh, rise in population size, the time as ref reflected by the relatively slopes of the curves.